Chicago has a vibrant underground music scene with a multitude of creative artists. Chance the Rapper was a part of this scene just a few years ago and is now an internationally acclaimed artist. He uses his work to promote the city he grew up in and also addresses many social and political problems nationwide. Like Chance the Rapper, many of these underground artists influence and inspire the communities around them. How do these artists represent and impact their surrounding communities? To answer this question, we talked to five different artists and bands across the city. I'm Zad Abdullah. I'm the drummer for Boys Noise. I'm Kenton Kaiser. I play guitar and I sing. I'm Teddy Holcomb. I play guitar and keys. I live in Andersonville now. Uh, usually it's like the northwest side. Yeah, I just grew up on the northwest side of Chicago, like Old Irving Park. Uh, I always lived in like uptown Lakeview-ish. And for each of you, what got you into music? Uh, I started playing drums when I was 10 years old, and I kind of reached out and I found guys like these who wanted to play music and kind of wanted to spread our influence, and so we did it. We kind of came together and made the music that we're making today. What's your name? I'm Sydney August. I grew up on the north side of Chicago. Chase, wait, wait. <laughs> do I hear? Do you want like a stage name or like a uh, stage name? Whatever. Okay. You call Chase you. Alexander Williams. I'm not from Chicago. I'm actually from New York. Uh, I mean, I think Chicago is kind of like a creative hub for artists who want to kind of get their music out there and kind of get their influence out there. Like, Chicago kind of really brings out the creative side of people. They kind of show that, look, if you want to make it, you can. Like, there are so many people from Chicago that are kind of doing their thing and doing what they want to do, and they've become so successful doing that exact thing. And so, I mean, really, that kind of story and that kind of pathway we're trying to follow and we're trying to kind of set our way on. I know you grew up in New York, but how does Chicago or New York influence your work? I feel like in Chicago, um, there's a very recognizable sound that says, this is Chicago, we are Chicago. My name is Quo, Kareem Quo Wells. Yeah. I grew up on the west side of Chicago. Um, it influences my music a lot. Uh, Chicago influences my music a lot because, you know, I do a lot of positive music. I'm trying to, you know, uh, inspire, especially like, kids on the south side and the west side, you know, it's a lot of violence going on, so my music, I'm always trying to say something positive, considering where my life is at now compared to where it used to be when I was 16. So I was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be a vehicle to help change, you know, and it starts in music, because music is very influential. You know, a lot of people don't think music is that influential, but it is, especially when you're growing up in the hood and you're looking for a way out. So, you know, if you listen to music that's telling you, go sell drugs, go shoot up, blah, 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 and that's what you're, you're hearing all the time, it's going to influence you one way or another. I'm Henry. I play bass for Manuals. I'm Jamie. I'm the voice of Manuals. And I'm Julian, and I play drums for Manuals. And our other three members that aren't here today are Ari, who plays piano, Michael, who plays trumpet and piano, and Eli, who plays guitar. Yeah, we're all from Evanston. Yeah, um, our guitar player, his family has lived in Hyde Park for a very long time, and I lived at Brompton and Lakeshore until I was four. Honestly, just like when we play, when we play shows, I feel like we're just like, not only like like it's, is it like an outlet for ourselves, but it's also just like an outlet for like kids around Chicago who maybe like they know like they see us play and they like they're like oh I want to do that. So what aspect or portion of your music impacts your community around you, and why do you think that is? Definitely just playing. Live. Yeah, I think that kind of the energy that we try to put out when we're playing live, the music that we're putting out for people to hear, I mean, uh, at least for me, and I, I'm assuming I can talk for the band, we really want that to be kind of a motivator for other people to be like, look, this is what we're doing because this is what we want to do. And if there's something that you guys want to put your mind to and get done, 
you can do that as well. I influence my community through my work by kind of by what I say. And what portion of your music do you think impacts your community the most? I feel like my lyrics and really the producers, um, I think that impacts uh, the community because who I work with, they're all from Chicago. And so I feel like that's super important since we're all from the same place that we like work together to, you know, get to the top. How how does Chicago influence your work? We're from the Chicagoland area. Like we listened to all these artists when we were like growing up, like or like, you know, we our early stages of high school we listened to like Chance the Rapper and like kids these days and all of that. And then we also listened to like other Chicago artists like no name and fucking like and Mick Jenkins and yeah, Mick like that. yeah you know it's just like the environment you're in just really can like influence like how you play we've definitely gotten a lot from seeing how other people can take like really soulful music and make it their own or not make it their own and really like played with and seen the boundaries that we can do that as well how do you influence your community like your neighborhood through your work I definitely do because I live like right behind Jones and I know a lot of kids who go there and a lot of them show up to like my concerts and stuff like that and a lot of my friends are like into art and so when they work on art like I kind of do also and when I'm working on something I'm, they're like more than welcome to you know join in. These artists who for the most part create and perform in the neighborhoods they were born, raised and still live are in a unique position to promote change in their communities. With their close personal knowledge of community issues and neighborhood problems, and perspectives that reflect the realities of the street, they often develop close personal relationships with their fans. Their life experiences, truthful perspectives, and intimate relationships with their fans enable them to be agents of change with the lyrics and unique voices of their music. I hate the way your pants swear they hating me I switch it to a 36, that 36 that fade away Fade away, that fade away Kobe with the fade away I throw it back